trends to account for small and medium-sized businesses. Trends of preparation accounting standards for small and medium enterprises or SMEs in Thailand is very high because they are received attention of both Thailand and ASEAN levels by pushing to have education for making standard proposal which ASEAN Federation of Accountants, AFA, has assigned the Federation of Accounting Professions to be an operator and expected to take reasonable time in processing until drafting accounting standards in the SME's business. According to the International Accounting Standards for Small and Medium Businesses, the International Accounting Standards Board has issued the standard in 2009, BE 2552, with the aim to set the standard for domestic businesses that does not have its own accounting standards. And it could be an alternative for domestic businesses that has its own accounting standards. International accounting standards for SMEs could be applied to businesses that need to publish financial statements with general purposes for external financial statement users and no responsibility to the public, including the stock exchange companies, banks, securities brokerage firms, and pension fund. International accounting standards for small and medium business are different from international accounting standards in terms of less disclosure of information and less complicated in recognition and measurement. The main differences between international accounting standards and international accounting standards for small and medium-sized businesses, including business combinations, investments in affiliated company and joint ventures, cost awareness, financial instruments, employee benefits and tax, etc. Deploying financial reporting standards international in ASEAN. International financial reporting standards, IFRS, has issued by Committee International Accounting Standards Board, IASB, which has been recognized by SETS accounting standards in Southeast Asia with five countries as follows. Since 2008, BE 2551, Financial Reporting Foundation is responsible for overseeing the operations of MASB had approved with proposal of the MASB to release statements about the action plan to adjust FRS to comply with all IFRS by 2012, BE 2555, and MASB noted that they will only specify IFRS, which previously announced until 2009, BE 2552, to use as plan. A limited company will have to follow PERS until MASB will be announced notification of change. 3. Philippines Financial Reporting Standard Council, FRSC, has operated since 2005, BE 2548, in order to bring IFRS to enforce in the country. This development has been supported by the supervising agencies such as the Professional Regulations Commission, PRC, Security and Exchange Commission, SEC, which allows the international standards to use in the preparation of financial statements for businesses in the country. Philippines called financial reporting standards equivalent with IFRS as Philippine Financial Reporting Standards, PFRS, and Philippine Accounting Standards. PAS. However, FRSC selected Philippine Interpretations Committee PIC, to interpret PFRS. At present, the FRSC has issued financial reporting standards equivalent with the new issue of IFRS, which affected in 2009, BE 2552. One, Indonesia, Accounting Standards Board, Dewan Standar Akuntansi Koingan, or DSAK, under the Association of Accountants of Indonesia, 
Ikatan Akuntan Indonesia, or IAI, who determine accounting standards for a limited company and a public limited company to put into practice, and DSAK-IAI has issued standards for all financial accounting, Perniatan Standar Akuntansi Koingan, or PSAKs consisting of 55 issues of PSAKs for conventional transaction and seven issues of PSAKs for trading transactions of CRE, eight issues of interpretation of financial accounting standards, Interpretasi Standar Akunsi Koingan, or ISAK, and three issues of technical bulletin. IAI had released statements about the Action Plan Adjusted Indonesia GAAP to be in accordance with IFRS by 2012, BE 2555. 2. Malaysia. Malaysian companies which have registered with the stock exchange market must prepare annual financial statements to comply with accounting standards issued by Malaysian Accounting Standards Board, MASB and the foreign companies which have registered with the stock exchange market may choose to prepare financial statements in accordance with generally accepted international accounting standards such as IFRS and MSAB. There are two groups of approved accounting standards. MSAB approved accounting standards for business which is not a limited company. It is called Financial Reporting Standards, FRS. MSAB approved accounting standards for a limited company which is called Private Entity Reporting Standards, PERSs. 4. Singapore. Singapore Financial Reporting Standards, FRS, was set up under Singapore Companies Act, FRS issued by Accounting Standard Council, ASC which was established by the Ministry of Finance. Foreign companies that registered in the Singapore stock exchange market may provide financial statements to comply with international accounting standard, which has been generally accepted, such as IFRS. FRS is an accounting standard that has a similar pattern to IFRS. However, there are some changes on practice day and its guidelines during the change requirements about valuation of land, buildings, and equipments that has a new appraisal before the due date, exceptions on consolidated financial statements, equity method of accounting, or proportional consolidated financial statements. Currently, ASC brings some of the accounting standards which changed according to the announcement of IFRS in 2009, BE 2552, to be comply with IFRS in order to apply in 2012, BE 2555, for companies that registered in the Singapore stock exchange market. 5. Vietnam. All companies in Vietnam must follow Vietnam Accounting Standards, VAS, which developed by the Ministry of Finance. In general, VAS bases on different versions of IAS that were announced in 2003, BE 2546. Although there are some modifications in order to be accordance with the regulations and the environment of the country, but Vietnam has not brought IAS that is updated according to the new version of IFRS after 2003, BE 2546, to enforce presently.